What's up scrubs this is top 5 zombies here, and welcome to another top 5 bests and worsts video. By the way I have named the series top 5 bests and worsts, how creative and original. In this video I will be counting down the top 5 worst things about Mac Dare on Toti. And if some of these reasons sound stupid it's because I couldn't think of much that was bad about the Mac. Let's begin. At number 5 we have the lack of replayability. I find it difficult to play two games of this in a row, mainly because the deaths are usually annoying, and because it is quite boring. When I die on Mac Dare Untoten I usually just play another map. At number 4 I have the difficulty of the map. I know I said that was a good thing in the previous video, but I feel that this is too much. It is nice a lot of the time as a challenge, but sometimes it is just irritating. With no perks, no pack-a-punch and only a kill-yourself wonder weapon, it got hard quite quickly. At number 3 I have the weapons. The weapons on this map are terrible on the World at War version. The best guns were the MG42 and the Browning M1990, which are horrific when training. The PPSH does not feature in this map and the ray gun is basically a death sentence. Speaking of the ray gun, at number 2 I have a ray gun in this map. If you shot the ray gun on the floor anywhere near you, you would die straight away. It is actually worse than a rocket launcher. It is meant to be the best gun on the map, but it is not, unless you use it perfectly. At number 1, I have the boringness of it. Mac Deron Toten is one of the most boring maps. In Call of Duty Zombies history there is nothing to do, no easter egg, nothing. I said I love the simplicity but this is really bad. Thanks for watching, I will be catching up with this series over the next few days. Remember to like, comment and subscribe. Hope you enjoy.